Hello everyone, uh, Flavien Vidal with Famakazaki Motor. Uh, so, if you've just seen the Nissan Cedric video that I should have now uploaded like a few minutes ago, uh, same problem, the microphone basically got screwed up while I was filming, recording, and half of the video doesn't have sound. Uh, the walk around doesn't have sound, so now we are a few days after the test drive that uh, will come soon after the, the walk around. And uh, well, let's go with the walk around of the car anyway. Uh, so what to say about this one? Uh, really, really mint manual. Oh, look at what is coming here. Uh, well, okay, we'll go after that. Uh, we'll go with. Is it okay? Okay. Well, I will keep on doing the walk around anyway. So, uh, yeah, specific specificity about this uh, Toyota Lightest van. So I think it's a 1989 model. Uh, that has, once again, and just like the Cedric, a manual gearbox. So it's got 112,000 km and it's in absolute mint condition. Uh, well, close to mint. Uh, there's still some minor things like uh, here, like little scratches on the... Uh-oh, I touched the cable. So I'm not sure if I still have sound. I will keep on doing the video, but I'm not sure if the sound is still here uh, so yeah the car is in absolutely really good condition apart from like uh, minor scratches here and there uh, on the bumper uh, of course no rust uh, the, so we can keep on doing with the walking around the car itself it's a light ace space casual which is probably one of the silliest name you can get for a car interior wise extremely good condition also uh, the seats feels like they've not been used which is actually generally impressive uh, for a car with this kind of mileage uh, interior only the shifter boot really is a bit old as you can see the paint on the on the leather is kind of peeling but other than that the, the, the whole car is really really nice this has also like a full laying down configuration which is generally fairly easy to set if you have two hands that's for the front after you just like up flip it like this and you do the same thing with the rear which is closed Up, uh, button here uh, where is the key here go so you've got the small lever there just pull that so you've got this thing that you want to keep Up. and then you can put that right there and you can lay down completely and sleep in there you have like a lot of space really to to lay down as i said i'm like one meter 86 and it's lots of room really Hop. here original toolbox Uh, dual air conditioner, air conditioning, uh, VAC works also, and it's cold. And uh, the engine is under there, uh, push rod stuff, so no timing belt. Just overall really nice condition. And uh, well, I guess we will see now with the drive, test drive of the car. That is being done by a guest star. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye bye.
Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Amagasaki Motors. My name is David. I will be your guest driver for today. <laughs> I am not actually an employee of Amagasaki Motors, so I'm not allowed to take the car out of this parking lot. But you will get a test drive in the parking lot. Let's do it. This thing Followed is epic. By, followed by a test drive on the road. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So right off the bat, the first thing we got to show is the turning radius of this thing. The steering wheel just keeps going. And then, like literally, I've been in lawn mowers that have a worse turning radius than this like seven passenger van. This is crazy. I absolutely love that. Seven, yeah. Seven? Yeah, seven. Seven, yeah, yeah, I can seat seven, I think. I don't know, I can seat enough. All right. This is, it's so crazy. You get such a, like a nice high seating position and it's a cab over, right? Which means that like the wheels are essentially under, under your butt. So your feet are the crumple zone. Not great for safety, but uh, it's fantastic for like visibility and maneuverability and But it, you get this like really crazy wild sensation that every every time you turn the steering wheel It's like your feet are swinging wildly about <laughs> Which is hilarious. It's so much fun. I'd, I've I've driven a cab over like once before in my life uh, But it's it's an experience. It's something you definitely got to check. On the other side of the road, remember we're on this <laughs> Yeah, well, you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the camera. That's my excuse. That's what I'm going to go with. Oh, you can go with that. Yeah. I've never been over there. So, so the clutch is uh, not fantastic on this thing. It's probably old. It's, I mean, it feels fine. It doesn't slip. You just get a little bit of chatter if you don't, you know, massage it just right. Uh, it catches a little late, but I mean, other than that, it all drives really, really well. The engine is this, like, awesome little push rod four cylinder and it's it's like literally <laughs> you sit right on top of it in order to get to it you have to undo three clasps where Flavian's sitting over there and then the whole seat and like the engine cover fold backwards and then you get access to the engine from the top but uh, you know that means that we're literally driving like a mid-engine rear drive car right now which is you know sporty right <laughs> <laughs> It's not sporty. That little push rod four cylinder does not make a whole lot of power. The engine is literally sitting on the axle, actually. It's a little bit in. Little Maybe, bit I think it's mid engine. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's mid engine, yeah. Yeah, mid we'll front, see. Yeah. It would be so much fun to take one of these and like strip the body off of it and then like slam the chassis down and build a go kart <laughs> out of it. That would be that would be epic. You don't want to do that to this one though, because this one's in like freaking amazing shape. It's crazy. The interior looks like it's brand new, and uh, one of the greatest things about it is that like all the seats in the back. I think you'll I think you'll show you pictures of yeah, this. Yeah, there's a picture, but not but, in the uh, video because it was yeah. too lazy. But all the seats in the back you can fold flat, like totally flat, and then you end up with uh, like seven feet of uh, of just like totally perfectly flat area back there. So. <clears throat> like I could I'm like six foot four and I could lay down back there so you could totally like take this camping and uh, you know do some uh, lovey-dovey snoo snoo stuff in the back with your uh, significant other if you wanted to I mean there's plenty of room and there's a, there's a like the curtains also for that yeah yeah if it's you don't want if the driver is not if you're not the driver you can still do yeah, something it's with got it's got privacy curtains for you privacy yeah the uh, the amazing turning radius uh, is not connected up to a really fast steering rack. So as you can see, like, I have to, it, it's like you have to kind of like shuffle the steering wheel around just to get around corners. There's a lot of turning involved. Uh, and it does have a lot of body roll, especially when Flavia and the friggin' maniac drives. This guy drives this thing like it's a Formula One car. I think he's letting the mid-engine thing get to his head. <laughs> But I mean, it's like, it's small. Oh, we're bringing it to Mount Rocco after you're coming. Yeah, no, I am not doing that. <laughs> I am not riding with you when you take this thing, when you take this thing through the mountains. You can check there. Yeah, I've never been over this way. Not me either. Yeah. It's, but it's like, it's so small. It's so, it's so chuckable. So like, we were looking at the, uh, the paperwork and the thing weighs 1,100 kilograms. <laughs> it's so light, yeah. Which is like, that's stupid like that's lighter than you know your s14 sylvia or something like it's that it's a lot lighter this one yeah. is probably like 
1,500? Yeah, yeah, I think they're like 1,300 or something like that. Yeah. Like if we're talking about classic cars, like my Isuzu Bellet beats it, but that, but that's like 900 kilograms and it's from the 60s. So I mean, it's about as safe as this thing is. <laughs> and it only seats, it says it seats four people, but it'll only seat four if you really, really hate the people in the back. <laughs> the VRX7 is worse, no? Yeah, yeah, the RX-7. And, uh, you know, the RX-7 probably weighs just about the same. Yeah, 950, yeah. So, like, it's so... For for a, something that seats seven people, it's so lightweight. Like, it, it it's really hard to wrap your head around how small and lightweight this thing is. But it doesn't really feel that small. You can't go on the roof. Or... Yeah, you can't get to the roof from here, huh? Oh. It really doesn't feel... I'm going to go the wrong way. What's over there? Yeah. This is a bit of outside... <laughs> we get a really tiny roof. <laughs> <laughs> Small roof. So it doesn't feel like it's uh, like it's that cramped inside, that small. I mean, it, I'm. It's really weird because like we're again, like the way we were sitting, like there's lots of space between us, but like the door is like we're we're literally on the door, and still we're like kind of far from each other at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like not, the not centered like properly to be actually fully yeah. really comfortable. Yeah, my seating position is a little cramped. But there's so much space between me and Flavian. <laughs> it's crazy. In, in the back seat, you get a bit more room. The floor is a little, little too high to be comfortable. So like the seat sits rather low to the floor. Um, so your knees kind of stick up a little bit, but you have a bit more leg room. So and that's quite nice. You've got the nice. footrest also, like on the engine. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can kick your feet up on the engine and rest out, splay out that way. Or you could just fold the middle row down and sit in the. He got scared by you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's even backing up. Yeah. Oh backwards. man. Like, Look at that. Uh oh. That's a two, very, very crown. Two very white, two white behavior. dudes. <laughs> that's a very two white crown. dudes in a in a <laughs> scary <laughs> looking van. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> See if I can find my way back over to the other parking yeah, lot. That's... Well, you can just go straight toward the gate, and we just switch, and I just drive. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Oh, this is a sporty bit. Yeah. This is a sporty driving bit. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, when this dude drives, he's nuts. Yeah, I'm not careful. I know he's a good driver. I'm not saying he's a bad driver. He's just his balls are bigger than mine are. <laughs> it's just a fucking terrible passenger. <laughs> I'm probably one of the worst passenger I've ever had. <laughs> well, that and my mother. But, uh, <laughs> hey, are you calling me an old lady? That may not be inaccurate. <laughs> there we go. We'll see if I can. Yeah, the exit. Yeah. Uh, you can you can flip a UE here if you want. I was hoping there'd be a parking space over here. But... Yeah, just park it there. We'll just go like that. We can make it. Like, that's where I take my speed. That's where I pick up speed. Mode. There we go. Perfect. Sweet. Now Captain Crazy is going to drive you guys. Uh, let's go for that. <laughs> you don't have to turn off. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the fitting is not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit smaller than he is, a couple inches smaller that helps the fitting of the... Ooh. Is the fuel gauge coming back up? Or is it uh, reading empty? Yeah, you know, it's precise. You have the turning radius so you can go back the way you came from. That's true, let's try that out. I'll do it. <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> it does it. That's nuts. You had room to spare. You had like at least two feet to spare, man. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh, that's a really, really practical car. And if you're like, it's so maneuverable, man. Like this For is Japan small streets. I mean, it's a yeah. bit, it's a bit wide, but it's not. This is the perfect city car. Like if you live, if you live in the city and like the speed limits are below 60 everywhere you go. Yeah, it's like, actually this is this is perfect for it. Oh, we gotta roll we gotta roll them down. Oh, yep. There you go. The AZ one, I'm sitting like down there. It's like impossible <laughs> to accept. Yeah, the beat has the same problem. In the AZ one, I have the opposite problem. Up, up, up. So now we are back on the on the actual roads. And see what's so yeah actually you well, that's what we are soaking because we actually already drove that car. You have to be careful with the inside of the truck because the turning radius is so small that you cannot like cut corners yeah, yeah. easily and hit shit. 
So, how does it drive? It will move and it, it, it's gonna poop. <laughs> we I mean, no, already we have had to... my daily shit. He's working, on, he's working on number two for me. <laughs> second number two. Yeah, the second number two. <laughs> No, so yeah, the body roll is absolutely like the suspension. I smashed my head against the roof here. Okay. There's nobody behind you, the guy in the truck. Huh? The AC does blow cold. Eh? No, the AC is really cold. That's a really cool thing. Also, the radio is working too. It's AM only though. Yeah, AM only, but you have like a tape player and an auxiliary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, the CD thing is maybe. Maybe that's the aux thing. Yeah. Huh. You don't have an aux cable, do you? Maybe it's an option, like you have like an extra CD player that you put there and that you yeah, plug yeah. on that. <laughs> but no, overall, like the, the the car is just in mean condition. That's why during the walk around, I didn't have really much to say. It's yeah, it's so clean in here. It's it seems like, uh, genuinely perfect. So it's not the four wheel drive version. If you if you feel adventurous, uh, it's maybe <coughs> not maybe not the ideal the ideal car to, to get stuck somewhere. But uh, no, no, that, like it's for as he was saying, as David was saying, like for, for to drive in the city and just like get well, obviously stuck in traffic, like we're gonna be very soon. It's yeah, close, close to perfect. It's a little bit wide if you live in tiny streets, but no, overall, like the, 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 the <laughs> it's an awesome van. Yeah. Yeah, the clutch is the only thing. Like it's like if, when you start in the first gear, it just like. Chatter? Yeah, you get a little bit of clutch chatter. Yeah. I was trying to figure out the world. Uh, I learned, well, I heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I forgot about it. It but doesn't slip though, so I mean, it's not. No, no, uh, it accelerates well, there's no problem, but it's. Uh, yeah, it's not new. It's not a new clutch. Yeah. But no, when I, when I saw that thing, I really, really had to buy it. And I, yeah, I'm doing the video, but if I'm honest, it's. it's Pretty much already sold. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like there's not. It's a, it's just a fun video just for the sake of it. But yeah, to find it in manual, like, because yeah, we, we drive it, we don't even realize it, but it's like fucking rare to have it in manual. Yeah, it's generally not something you find everywhere. And now we're just stuck in traffic, and I'm starting to starting rumbling. <laughs> so it's <laughs> traffic, traffic sucks. That's where that's what this thing shines in, though. You can carry seven people in it. In and, traffic. and you have the rear air conditioning controls. But how does it work? Is it? Yeah, so you got AC controls up the, there. There obviously can't see this, but you got AC controls up top, and then you've got heater controls below the. And seat. it's a, it's a separate one also. It's a separate rear AC also. Yeah, yeah. Because now it's getting cold. It started warm. And it's getting colder and colder, so it's actually working also in the rear. I don't know if it has a separate. Uh, yeah, I don't. Th I think it's only one condenser. But one condenser, uh, yeah. Because it's got uh, two two separate. Uh, yeah, the heater cores. Heater cores. Crazy. It's but, got two heater cores. Yeah. So I don't know. If he took a picture of it. I'm sure he did. Yeah, there's, I did from the. Uh, there's a heater core underneath. I know. On the, the, the walk around. Yeah, on the walk around, okay. I, I talked yeah. about it. I didn't have much to say, so I had to go. <laughs> Like I've seen a ton of cars that have like vents that go to the back, yeah. but the heater core is still up front, so it's still yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like you're piping air back there. But that's like a and most cave vents are like that, you know. Yeah. The, but no, the same bar. I'm pretty certain that the same bar that uh, we had one that had like a separate heater core for the rear. Okay. So that's there crazy. are a few a few K trucks that yeah. are like this, but uh, yeah, no, it's not common for sure. I imagine it's uh, a pain in the ass to uh, leave the system. If you have to like replace the radiator, uh, it's freaking long too. So. Yeah, so you got a you got a bunch of pipes and bubbles that you yeah, have to yeah. lead up. But, but uh, I'm yeah. sure Toyota has a manual for that. Manual for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like super curious about this. Like, I wish we had an aux cable. Yeah, it, well, I probably have one at home, but I'm not gonna bring that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back. Cause like I mean, if that's the case, like if that's an aux cable, then like you don't need to change anything in here. Yeah, just plug in your iPod and you're good to go. 
right well i guess that's gonna be it we're gonna be stuck in traffic anyway so as usual if you have any questions let me know in the comments david will not answer them for me but uh, he could though <laughs> i might <laughs> and so answering game, questions though. about cars is kind of literally your job so <laughs> you should do well <laughs> all right well till next time bye bye yeah first gear bye bye